Well, it has been a day of cuts here at the BBC with jobs going in the newsroom, but uh, one service has received a stay of execution just hours before it was due to be phased out. I'm talking about the red button text pages. And do you remember the predecessor, CFAX, remember? Uh, well, our very own Angela Rippon was there when that started, and here's her fond look back at a world of block art and slow-loading football results. Nineteen seventy four, a year that saw the birth of an innovation and one that I was there to witness. A team of BBC engineers have been helping to plan what can best be described as a revolution. A revolution, that is, in communication. For the very first time, and long before you had laptops or smartphones, you could get news, information about travel and the weather at your fingertips, and all because of a service that I really loved. CFAX. It was an electronic magazine transmitted through gaps in the TV signal and was the first of its kind in the world. Mort Smith was the first full-time journalist to work on the service. You can see here we have headlines on page 102, home news on 103, sport, racing, the Financial Times Index. When we created a Telefax page, um, we'd write the news story up and then we had to grab the tape, run down two flights of stairs, put the tape into a reader, and then you had to run back upstairs to look at it on air. Occasionally, you would have made a spelling mistake, in which case you had to do the whole thing again. Some of Mort's colleagues used CFAX to share more specific news with key parts of the audience. The editor, Colin McIntyre, if he was going to be working late, he would put a message onto a back page of the CFAX magazine to his wife saying, I'm going to be 20 minutes late or I'm just leaving television centre now. At its peak, CFAX was being used by around 20 million people. You could get all sorts of information on it, including even a daily horoscope. I must admit, I tended to use it for the headlines because it was constantly being updated. And as we didn't have rolling news channels at that time, it was most people's go-to source for breaking news. John Major uh, was a real cricket fanatic and he used to have a Teletext set in number 10 uh, and regularly used to check on the latest test score using CFAX. Although the service was switched off in 2012, there's still a lot of love for the three-digit lead block caps pages of CFAX. Can you tell me what you remember about CFAX? It was the days before internet, and before Alexa and so on, and, and we thought it was quite amazing that at the touch of a button you could find out these things. My sister, and she used to watch CFAX for holidays, and she used to get regular holidays, used to have a bag packed and everything. I used to use it for Grand Prix results. Do, do, I can even remember the number on that. I think it's three... Was it 331 or something? Software engineer Peter Kwan worked on CFAX before it closed down. His passion for the service was so strong that he's since created his own version called TFAX. Peter, if I was to log on to TFAX, what would I see? Um, for live information that's up to date, you can get news pages, you can get several pages of weather. The pages are created online and then uploaded onto analogue televisions using a small computer. Anyone with that device can access TFAX. From there, pages can be dialed in and controlled via an ordinary remote, just as you would have done with CFAX. Some people who liked uh, quizzes will, will remember Bamboozle. <laughs> yeah. That'll bring back memories. A small group of volunteers from around the world create the 600 pages, which can take between a couple of minutes and several hours to make, and some of which feature some innovative artwork. They're very creative the way they use the restrictions of seven colours, and you can see everything's blocky and jaggy, but yeah. that is what attracts the artists to the medium. So what's the reason behind Peter's passion for this otherwise outdated technology? Well, they look at it like steam engines. There's no reason to have a steam engine anymore. But you go up and down the country, and there they are, chug chugging up and down little preserved lines. Mm. So we've um, preserved some of the technology for the future. Time for Peter and I to get artistic ourselves. Press escape, then B for blue. Oh, that's clever. Oh, me and my sisters love looking at the holidays. 
holidays you would dream, wouldn't you, as a kid, looking through those? Yeah. So you were saying that you... What, what did you do with the uh, Seafrank? Uh, look at the horoscopes. Horoscope. Oh, they used what, to do the horoscopes on What star sign are you, Joe? I'm a Gemini. Gemini.